Let's talk about graphs of parent functions. This first section is just to get you familiar with a few different functions and what the graphs of those uh, functions look like. So when we're talking about a linear function, the equation is f of x, which means the same thing as y equals y equals x. Okay. If I was to plug in values for x, when x is negative 2, plug in negative 2 right there, y is negative 2. When x is, let's look at 0. When I put 0 in for x, I solve in and I get y. So basically, we have this function, and what I want you to remember is it's a linear function. It intersects the y-axis at 0, 0, right here. The domain is all real, which means negative infinity to positive infinity, and the range is negative infinity positive because the range is the bottommost value to the top. Okay, so let's look at a quadratic function. A quadratic function has the formula f of x, the equation, I mean, f of x equals x squared. And it looks like this, the best sketch. The scale of our graphs are a little bit skewed, I guess, in the importing of it, but um, use your notes to look at that and these values more specifically because, like I said, our graphs are a little bit, the coordinates seem squeezed in and off a bit. When you put a negative 2 in there, negative 2 squared is positive 4, so we see negative 2, 4. Um, ordered pair, 0, 0. Let's test 2, positive 2. If you put a positive 2 in there, you would have 2 squared, which is 4. So you can see that this table matches our equation. It's, this one has intersects at the ordered pair 0, 0. That's where the vertex is at. The domain is the leftmost. It's negative infinity to the positive infinity, which is all real numbers. The range is the bottommost, um, which is 0. So to the topmost, all real numbers greater than or equal to 0. Okay. The next function we look at is the square root function, where f of x equals the square root of x. If I picked a particular point, if I plugged in 0 for x, I would get the square root of 0, which is 0. But let's just do 4. If I plug in 4 right there, the square root of 4 is 2. So you can see that's where these values in our table come. Our function... It's at the y-axis at 0, 0. The line intersects there. The domain is all the values of x greater than 0. So the domain would be from 0 to infinity. And the range is also all the real numbers greater than or equal to 0. So it would be bottommost point to the topmost point. And let's put arrows on the ends. Our absolute value function has these straight bars with the x, so it's f of x is equal to the absolute value of x. Let's jump over here and test a few of our points. If I substitute negative 2, the absolute value of negative 2 is just positive 2, and we see that there. Let's do positive 1 now. The absolute value of positive 1 is just 1, so we can see if I was to plot all these points and try to get on this line as best as possible, this is what the shape of our parent graph of an absolute value function looks like. Um, do the origin of 0, 0. The domain is all real numbers, negative infinity to positive infinity. And then the range is the bottommost value is 0 to the topmost value is infinity. Our cubic function is f of x to the um, equals x to the third power and it has this shape it goes through the origin through so 0 0 the domain and because this goes on in both directions uh, leftmost value to the rightmost value and the range is also the bottommost value which is an arrow to the topmost value so that's going to be our domain and range for a cubic function. The cube root function, this is where f of x, this is a 3 right there. The cube root of x, it looks like the cube function on its side. It's 3, 0, 0. Let's test a few of the points. Negative 8. The cube root of negative 8 just means 
what times itself three times gives you negative eight and that would be negative two let's test positive eight what number times itself three times gives us positive eight that would be two times two times two so we have our table calculations uh, domain is going to be the leftmost value to the rightmost value the range is your bottommost to your topmost point on the y-axis so that's your domain and your range the next one we have is an integer function the greatest integer you probably do the least with this but I just wanted you to see that it's often called a step function and it has these values um, where the point at this place is an open circle because it's not included in the set and it includes all the values between that open circle to here and then um, it'll jump up here where this is not a value that's included and then it includes all of these portions in between here and then it steps up and so you can look at the table and you also get that idea the graph is constant on the intervals so it means it goes constant as a variable um, the function straight across right here and it's constant on those intervals the domain is all real numbers and the range is some integer.